The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 6th Canto, 1st Chapter, Text Number 17, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 17th of May, 1975, in Honolulu, Hawaii. The path followed by pure devotees who are well behaved and fully endowed with the best qualification is certainly the most auspicious path in this material world. It is free from fear and it is authorized by the Shastra. So, this is the summarization of our Krishna consciousness mode. That the path followed by pure devotees. Pure devotees means who has no material That is pure devotees. Allah vilasita sunnam. Sunnam means jiva. One who has made all material desires jiva. That is the way. And the Buddha philosophy, it is called Nibbar. Nibbar means make zero. Sunnavari. But we cannot remain in the Sunna, that is not possible. Sunnavari, Nibbara means to give up material desires. It is not possible to give up desires, that is not possible. <coughs> To give up desire means I have dead body, a stone. If I was liar, lying, if I am not a stone, there must be desire. Oh, where is the living entity who has no desire? That is not possible. If we kill somebody to make him desire less, then if you are killed, then there will be no more desire. No. The desire will continue. In the subtle body, even though on his face, this material body, sometimes they commit suicide out of frustration that this desire is not fulfilled. Let me commit suicide. No. That is ignorance. Desire is continue to the subtle body. Mind, intelligence and ego. And to fulfill the desire, Krishna will give you another body. This, if we make a desire, it must be fulfilled, and Krishna will give you facilities. Brahmayam sarvabhutani jantra gurhani maya. The desire is so strong. So how to make it zero? That is not possible. To make it zero means no more material beings. That is, to make zero material beings. Sarvapadhi minin muktam. That is more lucidly explained in the Nanad Bhakti Sutra. Desire means we should give up the desire of this body of designation. I am Indian, you are American, I am Hindu, you are Christian. These are all designation of the body. I accidentally am born in India, the I call myself India. You are accidentally, not accidentally, somewhere or other, born in you are American. Uh, accidentally somebody takes birth in the Hindu family, he becomes Hindu. Accidentally, he takes part in the Christian world, he became Christian. These are all designations. So, when we give up this designation, that is desire. Designation. 
Everyone is acting. They are fighting. They are making so many plans. Why? We are Indian or we are American. We are Russian. And the Russian must exceed the American. The American must exceed. This is good. On the platform of daily news. When we change the platform and we simply desire how to serve Krishna, that is desire. Otherwise, not that desirelessness means I become a Jew. That is not possible. I am a living being, I am a living soul. How can I be desirelessness? If you want to be designated as less, then come to the association of such persons who are Sushila Sadhava Jatra Narayana Parayana. Persons who are simply interested in serving Narayana. Narayana Parayana means they are always ready to abide by the orders of Narayana. Narayana, Narayana was those who are taking the path of Narayana, devotional service, as a life and so. They are called Narayana Parayana. So, what is the qualification of Narayana Buddha? He does not require any qualification to become Narayana Buddha. But if you become voluntarily Narayana Buddha, Narayana Buddha means my life is now dedicated for Narayana. Narayana, Krishna, Vishnu, they are the same. So that is qualification. If we simply take it as vow that from this day my life is dedicated to Narayana, Krishna. Sarvapadi Vinin Muktam Tatparastinam Bhimma. As soon as we take this vow that from this day my life is dedicated to Krishna. Krishna wants everyone to surrender, I surrender and believe. From that day you become free from all devotees. Simply this determination. That from this day I belong to Narayana or Krishna. Whatever he wants, that is the teachings of Bhagavad. So long or job that is a superficial picture. Arjun is always for this law, but just to teach us, he began for his family. He began in the war field when there was two fighting. He began to the family side and he said, But dear Krishna, how can I fight with my family? They are my brothers, they are my nephews, they are my grandfather. That my teacher, the other said, because it was a family fight, five brothers and hundred brothers. So at the war field, he became perplexed that I am fighting with my family. The fight means to fight with enemies. But how is that? What kind of war it is? I have to fight with family. He said to stop. So who has fought this kind of fighting, Krishna, to kill or his own brother, his nephew? Then? So that was that means he lead to the family side. This is dangerous. This is dangerous because he belonged to the Kuru's family. He took side of the family. But after hearing Bhagavad Gita, after understanding Krishna. Or they came to the conclusion that I must be with Krishna's side, not to the family side. Then he became perfect. After hearing thoroughly Bhagavad Gita, he, Krishna said, Now what will you do? To the family side or my side? Jatechasita, that freedom is there. Jatechasita, whatever you like that do, I am giving my instruction. That freedom is there always. 
Hare Hare Krishna or his representative, the spiritual master, he can give you good instruction, good advice. But to do it or not to do it, that is your option. That is your option. You decide your option. That is it. Krishna said, Jate Chasi Tathapu. I am not interfering with your independence. I am here as your spiritual master. And you accept me as your, mind, your spiritual master. Krishna was accepted by the Sishra Shrihaṁ. Krishna, no more friendly talk. I accept you as my spiritual master. Shishya Sriham Shadimam Prabhannam. What kind of disciple? Now Prabhanna fully surrender. Now whatever you say I'll do. This is Shishya. Shishya, the Samaritan will explain. Sasdha, who voluntarily accepts the ruling of a person, he is Shishya. Otherwise, you go on talking, whatever nonsense you can, I'll do my own business. That is not Shishya. Shishya means, Shishya steham sadhimam prabhunna, tad vidhi panipatema. That is Shishya. So, Krishna taught him Bhagavad Gita. Then still he gave him the freedom. Jathichasi tathāpur. Now, you know, I have distracted you, everything. Now you decide what to do. It is not force. Reply was that now, nastu moha sati lavya. My illusion is now over. I thought I am now remembering what I am. That remembering means I am not belonging to this family. Tapasarāla-mahasūdhana. Siti loved that. Siti, this is in the material world we have lost our memory. That I am part and parcel of Krishna and my duty is to serve Krishna. This is our position. This is called illusion. Just like this finger is the part and parcel of my body. Now what is the duty of this finger? To abide by the order of the... Uh, I want finger to stand like this, the finger is standing. You come here, yes. That is part and parcel. That is part and parcel. So if you are part and parcel of Krishna, our only duty is to serve Krishna. There is no other duty. But we have created so many duties. And that is the thing. So we can be designation less when you live with the pure devotees of Krishna. Therefore it is said that Sushila Sadhava Jatra. That path is very nice. Akutuha, fearless. Where the Sushila Sadhava Jatra. Where when we have saintly persons are there. Well-being. It is the first word, Sushila. Sushila means character. Well, nice character. A, a devotee cannot be bad character because Krishna is Parabrahma Parandhamo Pavitram. Pavitram is pure. So, impure cannot approach it. That is not possible. If you want to enter fire, you must be fire. And if you are not fire, then you will burn. So first of all, we have to divide because Krishna, is, the example is given that Krishna is a big fire and we are sparks of fire. We are also fire, but small. The sparks of fire can play can remain within fire and it is beautiful. But, but there is spark we have seen while well, fire is going on. It is very beautiful. And as soon as the spark fire falls down, separate from the earth, it is extinguished. No more fire, it is black, charcoal. 
stesso. So, if we want happiness, then we have to dance with Krishna. But we cannot dance Krishna if I am not pure. Krishna is Pavitram Paramam Bhava, Pavitram is the supreme pure. So if you want to take pleasure in the company of Krishna and dance, Rasa dance, then you have to become pure, purified. That is Sarvapada even in Mukta, to free from all diseases. Narayana Pada. Narayana society or Krishna society, the same thing. So, this is very nice verse, the substance of Krishna consciousness movement, that those who are conducting this movement, they must be Sushila, very well be Nobody can find out any fault that is Sushila. Well, the behavior should be so nice. That is the test. How you have become Krishna conscious? That is the test. Spotless. You study Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's behavior, character, his ideal. And throughout his whole life, he will not find this form. You read Chaitanya Chaitanya, find out some form. The real is Chaitanya. Sri Krishna Chaitanya is fault. No. That is Sushila. And that is Sadhu. Sadhu. Sadhu means Sadhu. Saint Vipas. What is Saint Vipas? Titiksa. Karunika. Srila Sadhu Hudana. Ajada Sattva Shanta. Sadhu Sadhu Hudana. This is the definition of a Sadhu. What is that? Titiksa. Very, very tall. Just see Christ, ideal character, how tolerant he is. He has been crucified, still is merciful. But similarly, anywhere, those who are actually sadhu, saintly person, they are very tolerant. Kamaru Bhakapasila, that is the qualification of sadhu. Pitiksa. At the same time, karmika. Merciful. The others are torturing him, but he still is merciful. That is the qualification of Sha. Pitiksa va karmika. Why? Sri Sarva Bhuta is friend of everyone. There is no distinction. That he is American, he is Indian, he is Christian, he is Hindu, he is dog, he is cat, he is man. No, he is kind to everyone. Why we are preaching? No meat it. And you stop meat it, then the four animals will be saved. So what business we have got with the animal? Now Srila Sarabhuta. The saintly person is praying to everyone. Why they unnecessarily a animal should be killed? That is his feeling. You can eat animals because by nature this is the arrangement that ahastana is ahastana. Even we eat vegetables, that is also killing. But because I have to kill somebody to eat, that does not mean that I can kill my child also. Of course, that is also going on. There is discrimination. Similarly, the, our principle is that we are kind, merciful to everyone, but we have to eat. So we eat Krishna prasad. Because after all, Krishna is the Supreme Lord. So if he eats something, the responsibility is his. And I, we are not advocate of vegetarianism or non-vegetarianism. No, that is not our business. We are Krishna. What Krishna said, 